Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode and today we're going to make some Italian style meatballs. Now it's a super easy recipe uh, to follow. The real important thing is to use good quality ingredients and I'll quickly talk you through what we've got here. We have got 500 grams of minced pork. Now if you can try and use your local butcher for this because they'll mince it to your requirements so we need a little bit of fat in this minced pork so what I've got here is about 70% shoulder and 30% belly so it's got a nice bit of fat in there so that's 500 grams of pork we need some parsley some garlic granules you can use fresh garlic but this is nice and easy and convenient for me some fennel seeds that's sort of aniseed quite strong taste not everyone's cup of tea uh, but of course you can substitute these for other herbs and spices if you want. An egg just to bind the meatballs together. Some pasta. Now I've got gone for this uh, pre-prepared uh, tortelloni type of pasta. Uh, I think that's stuffed with uh, yeah tomato and mozzarella. So some pasta. I've got some nice cherry vine tomatoes you can see those there look lovely and red nice and ripe and some kind of base for a sauce you can use a pre-made sauce if you want I've got a passata um, and then this has already got some basil in there so that'd be nice um, basically some kind of sauce to go uh, with the meatballs and pasta so I'm going to quickly prepare the ingredients a little bit further and we'll jump back in and we'll get cracking making these meatballs okay so all I've done is uh, chop the, sort of finely chopped the parsley um, and we're going to just chuck that straight in to the minced pork there's probably half a bunch there maybe I don't know 50 grams or so maybe not even as much as that just whatever you sort of think looks right that doesn't look too far wrong there now I'm really sorry if the shadows are quite long on the chopping board it's quite a bright day outside uh, I'm afraid there's not much I can do about that. Um, next we're going to just crack the egg straight in there. Get rid of that. And the garlic granules. Um, you know, good, generous sprinkling. That looks about right. If you're using fresh garlic, maybe a couple of cloves for a mix this size. Now, the fennel seeds, we're going to use a pestle and mortar and grind them up a little bit. But first of all, we're going to take some coarse sea salt. You want a fair bit of salt in there. And the reason we put the salt in is it's quite abrasive and it's going to help uh, break these fennel seeds down. So maybe a teaspoon of fennel seeds in there. And if you just excuse the noise for a moment. Just give those a good grind up. There you can see that's turned into a nice fine powder. So we'll just pop that straight in. Just like so. And next, some freshly ground black pepper. Again, a fair bit in there. I want to be able to taste it. And I'm going to pop in a little bit of hot sauce. Of course, you can just leave this out if you're not too keen on that. And time to get your hands in. So just get stuck in. And what we're trying to do is bind everything together. Now the egg's going to help with that. But working the meat for a couple of minutes is really what's going to do it. So we'll give that a good mix and we'll check back in when it's looking a little bit firmer. So after you've worked that meat for a couple of minutes, it should look something like this. Now as long as you've got the fat in there, it will bind together. It may not look like it at first, but if you keep working it, you can see now that's about holding its own weight. 
So you want everything to hold together, but you don't want it too dry. So that looks about perfect. Now we're going to portion these into small meatballs. Now I do like to do them nice and small. Something about that size, but make them as big as you want. So we'll get on and do that. The reason I like them small is because there's more surface area, therefore there's more taste. So we'll portion these out and then we'll check back in once that's all done. There we have the meatballs all rolled out. I think we've probably got about 20 or so there. So next thing we're going to do is brown them off in a pan uh, with some oil in it. Now, while you're doing that, you'll want to preheat your oven to about 180 to 190 degrees uh, gas mark five um, just so that it's ready to go once these are all browned off so we'll pop these in the pan now and we'll check back once they're all browned off okay so you can see we've browned those meatballs off and they look and they smell fantastic and what we've also done is blanched off the pasta just like so so to the pasta we're just going to add as much or as little sauce as we need probably take most of this passata maybe a little bit more remember there's going to be some a little bit of juice comes out of your meatballs so you don't want it too uh, runny so that looks about right and so what we're going to do is we're going to take a pyrex dish like so and we're going to spread this about and you can see here there's easily enough for three or four people depending on your appetites if you're a greedy bugger like me it'll do you two days do one person two days um, so to that we're going to sprinkle over these meatballs and any juice that's come out in the pan that can go in as well uh, it's just going to add flavour to the dish. And we're also going to, I don't know, about a dozen cherry tomatoes, cherry vine tomatoes. Scatter those about. Of course you don't need to add these if, if you're not as keen on these. But in a nice hot oven these blister up in the they taste wonderful so all I've done is rinse these under the tap and we'll just chuck them in like that a little bit more salt over the top like so and give that a good mix about and what we're going to do is bake this like I said before 180 to 190 degrees depending on your oven for I would say about 25 to 30 minutes and actually now that I think about it we'll add some cheese excuse my lack of preparation Just to make it extra decadent, we'll sprinkle, sprinkle some uh, nice, what have we got here, extra mature cheddar. Again, use whatever cheese you want. We've already got mozzarella inside the pasta. But who can resist extra cheese? Not me. So that looks good to go in the oven. So 25 to 30 minutes and we'll check back and see how we got on with it. Well, there we have it, guys. Beautiful homemade meatballs, Italian style, uh, with pasta and a tomato sauce. I hope you give this a go yourself. The smell is incredible, and I've tried this a few times, um, so you can take my word, it is really tasty. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to receive regular updates. Uh, every time I publish a new video. So, 
once again thanks for watching and hopefully i will see you in the next video cheers